In the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force faced a serious problem. They needed a tough, slow, heavily armored aircraft designed to support ground troops. Two aircraft entered this historic competition, the A-10 Warthog and the Northrop Y-9. Only one would survive. The Air Force wanted a close air support aircraft that could fly low, take damage, and still return home. Speed didn't matter. Survivability did. Both the A-10 and Y-9 were built like flying tanks, but only one truly fit the mission. The Y-9 was powerful, heavily armored, and designed for battlefield punishment. It carried a large cannon and strong engines. On paper, it looked like a perfect choice, but real-world testing would reveal its weaknesses. They, 10 looked strange, almost ugly, but that design was intentional. Its massive GAU, eight cannon, wide wings, and titanium armor made it incredibly survivable. The plane was built around the gun, not the other way around. Both aircraft were tested under brutal conditions. Low altitude flying, weapon accuracy, engine survivability, and ease of maintenance were all measured. The YA-9 performed well, but the A-10 consistently proved more stable, more accurate, and easier to repair in the field. The A-10's cannon accuracy, fuel efficiency, and ability to return home with heavy damage gave it the edge. Its engines were mounted high to avoid ground fire, and its simple design meant faster battlefield repairs, something the YA-9 couldn't match. In 1973, the decision was made. The A-10 Warthog won the competition. The YA-9 program was canceled, while the A-10 went on to become one of the most iconic and feared ground attack aircraft in aviation history. Decades later, the A-10 is still flying, still protecting ground troops, still proving that sometimes the toughest aircraft, not the fastest, is the one that wins.